Hey everybody, happy Friday. Kayla here from the LFI team and it is time for another Shuffle Weekly Tip. Today's tip is gonna be focused on setting up your e-wallet account. So you became a Shuffle customer, you started using Shuffle to promote your business and you loved it, started sharing Shuffle with others and earning coins, and now you're ready to get paid. So how do you get paid? So I'll start off by saying that there are two criteria that you must meet before you can officially become a Shuffle affiliate, an LFI affiliate, and uh, cash out your coins. So the first is that you must be past your 14-day trial period. If you're still in your free trial period, you won't be able to become an affiliate. You won't be able to cash out just yet. You have to wait until your free two weeks are up. Um, the second is that you must have earned 2,500 coins or more, um, which is the equivalent of $25 USD. So um, once you meet those two criteria, you're past your free trial and you've earned $25 or 2,500 coins, then you can go through the process of becoming an affiliate and setting up your e-wallet account. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you um, so you can see exactly where that is at in the app. So share screen, you guys should be seeing my phone now. There we go. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to the main menu and down to rewards is where we're headed. And in your rewards, you'll be able to see all of your referrals, things like that. And up in the top, you'll see your coin count. Um, so for this example, there's 3,400 coins. Tap on your coin count. And when you do tap on that coin count, then you'll be able to see all of the areas, um, all of the times that you've earned coins that have led to your total coin count available. And again, in order to become an affiliate, you must have at least 2,500 coins. Um, if you do not have 2,500 coins, you'll still see the Become an Affiliate button, but when you tap on it, it's just gonna give you some information about the affiliate program and about the criteria that you need to meet in order to activate your affiliate status. So now because I have the um, 3,400 here that you can see, I can tap Become an Affiliate, and this starts the process for setting up my e-wallet account. All right, so you'll fill out this form and tap on become an affiliate. And then that will start the entire process for you. So when you set up your e-wallet account, you're gonna need to have some documentation ready. So let me, I'm gonna share a different screen with you really quickly. Share screen. There we go. Um, so you guys should now be seeing my desktop. Um, basically, so when you go through the app and start the process for becoming an affiliate, you're gonna get a series of emails. You're gonna get a confirmation email from us, from LFI, saying that you know, you've started the process. And then you're gonna get an email from eWallet or iPayout. Um, they're one and the same. And it's going to give you next steps for completing your registration. So watch for those emails, watch your inbox for those emails. One, a confirmation from us that says, hey, you've started the process, and watch for an email from eWallet. And then the second from eWallet actually giving you next steps to create your account and um, everything else going forward. So um, I am going to draw to your attention, there's three links that are at the bottom of this video that are going to be very beneficial to you in this process, okay? So look for those three links. I'm gonna go over them now. The first is a um, video through Google about uh, submitting your documents, right? So when you um, sign up to get paid through LFI, basically um, you'll be 1099. So we need information from you in order to pay you, um, basically as a contractor, right? Um, so the two things that you're gonna need ready when you're setting up your e-wallet account is a form of government ID. So whether it's a driver's license or a passport, um, something that has your photo, name and address on the ID itself. 
So you'll need a photo ID, and then you'll also separately need a proof of address. And a proof of address can be something like a utility bill, um, something that indicates your name and that you are living at the address um, that you have stated on your e-wallet. So um, those two things you're going to need handy right off the bat. Proof of ID and, or sorry, government ID and proof of address. So make sure you have those handies. You're going to want to scan them in and then upload them to your e-wallet. And this video that, again, it's shared um, at the bottom. The link to this video is shared at the bottom of this video. Um, you'll, it'll walk you through that process and walk you through how to upload those documents to your e-wallet. So, so watch for that. Additionally, um, I'm going to come over here. This is eWallet's support page. So keep in mind, eWallet is a third-party payout provider. And so um, any questions you might have about the eWallet setup, once you get into your eWallet account, we um, are not the support for that, right? Um, you'll need to reach out for eWallet directly if you're having any issues uploading your documents or you need to change your name or things like that. Um, eWallet is who you're going to want to contact, not Shuffle, because they are our third-party payout provider. So um, the second link that you're going to have available underneath this video, again, watch for the link under the video, is their support page. So the, on their support page, you can find frequently asked questions. Um, so these are popular frequently asked questions. What is eWallet? Um, how do you set up your account? What is your username, password? Things like that. You can find that there. You can send questions to their support team. And they also have a contact us page. So this um, support page is going to be very beneficial to you with whatever questions you have about setting up your e-wallet account. Visit their support page first. And then the third link that you'll find included underneath this video is actually the contact us um, from their support page. It's the contact us link. And we just are providing it separately. Um, so on their contact us, again, they'll guide you back to frequently asked questions just in case your question has already been answered many times, which is a great possibility. Um, but additionally, you can send any questions you have to LFI at globalewallet.com um, and their support team will get back to you very quickly. Um, they also have a phone number that you can call. Um, which is indicated right here, and it also indicates their office hours Monday through Friday, 8 to 6 p.m. EST. And just for your convenience, it will tell you the current time EST, which right now it's 5.49 p.m. So you would have 11 minutes, or I would have 11 minutes to call in um, where their phone lines would still be open. So um, again, this is the contact us. So you can send them an email or you can call with any specific questions that you have regarding your e-wallet setup. Um, so again, watch for these three links underneath the video. One, submitting the documents that you need. Two is their support page, their general support page. And three is their contact us page. So once you um, are past your trial period, once you have 2,500 coins, you'll start the process of setting up your e-wallet account through your Shuffle app by clicking the Become an Affiliate button that we saw earlier. And then once you start that process, watch for those two emails into your inbox, one from us confirming that you've started and indicating you'll get an, another email from e-wallet, and then the second one from e-wallet giving you next steps um, to log into your account and get started. So hopefully that gives you um, a lot of information, you guys. It's, it's a question that we get in commonly. How do I become an affiliate? How do I start the process? This is it. Um, so and then also, once you get in there and you set up your account, um, there's multiple ways you can get, uh, you can choose to get paid out. You can um, have a pre paid debit card through e-wallet that you can just transfer funds there. You can have it direct deposit to your bank account. You can have a check mailed to you. You can do a wire transfer and different fees and things like that will apply as well. So watch watch out for those on the e-wallet site as far as when you're setting up what those fees might look like. Um, but then once you have everything set up,
you'll be able to cash out your coins anytime you have, again, 2,500 or more. So anytime you've earned $25 or more through your Shuffle account, you can cash out and send those funds to your e-wallet to be deposited into your account. So hopefully that makes sense, you guys. Hopefully this is some valuable information for you. If you have any additional questions or feedback about this, as always, feel free to leave a comment on this video, or also you can send us feedback through your Shuffle app by going to main menu, down at the bottom is Help Center, and tapping on Feedback. That is the quickest way to get in touch with our customer support team. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Again, happy Friday, and I hope you have a great weekend. I'll definitely be seeing you guys next time. Thanks so much.